Word up. It's been a minute. So, uh. First off. Has time been uh, strange for anyone else? I mean, I think for a lot of us, it's, it's pretty much a commonplace thing for, for the concept of time to be wonky or to speed up or slow down. <clears throat> but it's been doing that thing again for me where <clears throat> it, it was uh, very quick which I'm going to kind of talk about the quickening and and then uh, recently it has been um, I would say more normal in the sense that I'm having uh, much internal dialogue, internal like quality over the quantity. I don't know if you guys hear that. <clears throat> we bringing in the storms up in her. So I've, I've noticed that I, I've been having a lot of uh, time displacement and it's it's more I like my internal uh, clock I guess you could say or internal fluctuator uh, indicator of time I, I will have my uh, normal quote unquote normal experiences uh throughout the day and feel like okay so this normally this is how much time would have passed with me having uh this internal dialogue internal experience here comes the storms Here comes the hail. Let's see if we can quell the storm just a tad bit. With a little bit of intention, a little bit of breath. It's funny, like the video I have up here, which is, uh, we're going to listen to a little bit of Zen at Man, and like he said with uh, him and the weather in his locale, uh, it, it's similar with me. And I, it very much has to do with my internal state. And I don't by any means think it's just me. I think it's this location and there are many me's among me here who feel the same way. 
And so because of this, storms will oftentimes break up as soon as they reach this locale. They will just dissipate, just like what happened. So yes. Time has been very funny as of late. I've been having um much time inwards and whenever I go to look at the time that has passed on the outside, it has been very uh, minuscule. Much, a much smaller amount of time has been passing on the outside compared to what I feel and, and engage within. Also, a concept of deja vu, and that's going to mean uh, different things for different people, different people, different experiences. So deja vu in the sense of repeat experiences for me, and that has been also happening very repetitively, uh, very, very... <laughs> It has been quickening as well. Seeing repeated numbers, repeated patterns, repeated vehicles, repeated shapes, forms. So I wonder how many other people have been experiencing this as well. And, and also, I wanted to throw out there... Um, the idea of as within, so without. But also the concept that there are, there are many factors at play in this game that we are a part of. And there are many influences that are more influential than our direct experience. And what, what I mean by that is just because you're in a certain place inside does not necessarily mean that, that, that you are going to experience on the outside the match of that. And this is something I've kind of been battling with, not necessarily battling, but struggling in that... I, I wonder, am I experiencing these things because of my internal state, or is it because of something greater, grander, more exponential, more influential? And so uh, lately, I have been receiving the answer through other people, through other me's, and what they have come to me with in their experience, which is what I have been experiencing. So I can be in a certain state and still experience these grander schemes of influence that a whole demographic also experiences. So I've been having to come to ponder that upon that more and more um, essentially coming back to the realization that my instincts were correct And for many of us who feel clearly 
our instincts are going to be correct, but the problem is going to be the second guessing. So for example, I've been in states recently where I have not been in a very good place. And luckily, I have been... I've happened upon people who... gave... who gave love, appreciation, who gave kindness, just a kind, heartfelt, genuine, authentic smile. Just that in and of itself, a genuine smile. That can change someone's whole day, whole out outlook of their entire situation in that moment. Never underestimate the power of a genuine smile. And in those specific moments, other people will be having their own internal stuff going on and, and still be experiencing very similar things, especially as of late, than that I have. And this is we, we and me and the people that that come to me with their experiences, we may or may not... It's been a mix uh, of being in similar states, in inner states, and then also uh, completely opposite inner states. But we're still having uh, the same, almost the exact same outward experiences. So that kind of uh, absolutely you know, demolishes the idea that um, you're always going to experience a reflection of your inner state. you got to understand that the powers of influence that are at play, and yes, you are going to be more, the tendencies here, you are going to be more apt to attract certain things to you according to your inner state. I, I absolutely agree with this and experience this, but I also experience the opposite of this, regardless of what kind of inner state that I have. I would say that the most important message or idea or concept to entertain and engage is that no matter what comes up, in your outer, so-called outer experience, you always are, are the one that has control of how you choose to respond to that outer experience. If you choose to remain in love and in grace and beauty in awe of everything, Which is not an easy thing to do by any means, especially whenever it's compounded bullshit upon bullshit upon bullshit upon people not being authentic, not being themselves over and over, projecting that at you, projecting that at you. It weighs upon you. It does. So it's 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 hard not to <clears throat> finally let that in after so many beatings on the show to finally have a crack and the seeping in of, of the corruption and the poison. And also more and more I am reminded
of the nature of, of people, of, of the acting of people. of what they are susceptible to and to take all things into account whenever you choose to engage and interact with people. I do think it's very beneficial to engage with people's better selves, to see them in a better light, in a nature that is pure and, and true, but also It doesn't do anyone a service to ignore a repeated pattern. So if someone is repeating a pattern of ignorance and projection of that ignorance, then perhaps it is more beneficial. Not just for that person, but potentially for you as well. To give that person a check. To give that person a reality check. So that they realize that they're not just operating in a world that's inside of them. They're also operating in a world that is made up of many thems, many us, many we's, many you's and me's. And that what they are holding on to inside that is contributing to what we collectively will experience outside. So sometimes people need a quick harsh check so that they can snap out of it and find homeostasis so they can let go of whatever the fuck they're holding onto and, and gripping and w with pain and with anger and angst and have a nice little wake the fuck up slap <laughs> not necessarily physical but sometimes <laughs> Sometimes, at times, things got to get, you know, a little more than metaphysical. And we got to let people know what it's really all about sometimes. Whenever, whenever it's time, whenever they are open to it, but not necessarily even whenever they are open to it, but whenever they go out of their way to portray and instigate ignorance, it is up to the ones that see through that to stand up, to rise up, to speak up, and let not even just the person it, because this energy is not it doesn't matter about people with this type of energy this is an energy that we're talking about here this energy needs to be known it where its place is and that is not in the front seat of our consciousness or our seat of being or our perceptions it is a tool to be utilized so whenever we are in certain modes to where we need to speed up our thought, to where we are able to think faster, feel quicker, feel more purely with that intense emotion, our speed of thought quickens as well. And whenever we can do this with people and not give in to any one mode or method or modality of being, then with that speed of thought and purity of feeling will be birthed a new concept, a new idea, a new clarity for all parties 
to behold and engage with, essentially to be reminded of. So don't be afraid to remind people of truth, of of what they are projecting, but, but in so doing, make sure that you're not getting caught up in that emotion as well. Because if you are, you're just creating more static, and it's not always wisest to fight fire with fire. Sometimes you have to fight one polarity with the opposite polarity, and it's not fight, it's a dance. You have to transform your conception, your per perceptions of duality, of dueling with one another, with, with anything and everything, to flowing, to dancing, to engaging to an extent where homeostasis and a balance is, is re finally reached. If you have that in mind, then it doesn't matter where your starting point is because you know that you, you're, <laughs> you're going to go around and around and eventually come back to that center point, to the, to the monad, to where we all are, that essence, the beingness. So yeah, part of that talk was kind of encouraged by uh, Yuvraj, his most recent video. I didn't watch all of it. I only got the chance to watch a little bit of it. And he started talking about uh, the fuckery of some people. And I experienced this as well. So I just wanted to uh, throw my six cents and upon that. Because I experienced this quite a bit as well. And so you either repeat the patterns or you learn. So if you choose the path of learning, then you see things for what it really is. And you're able to rise above any kind of influence there's so many different layers and levels of influence at play here. And so, we are going to come into the concept of the quickening. And uh, what this potentially may mean. Quickening of what? Quickening of potentiality, quickening of time, quickening of perception of time. <clears throat> what is the dictator of this quickening? What is the instigator? What is the <clears throat> experiencer of it? Can we engage with this quickening? at will? Can we choose to set some time for ourselves to be at peace, to be in stillness and within that still point of no time can we experience all time, a quickening of time, a slowing of time of experience of what it means to observe, to engage. How much of what we experience and what we think is outside of ourselves is actually dictated by our inner state? Quite a bit of it. This is, this is truly as within, so without. That doesn't necessarily mean that that is a constant because there are many influences and factors at play. 
that go into this. This is why I recommend finding some place of solitude, finding some place of sanctuary where you can access deep level healing, deep level engagements, where you don't have to worry about necessarily as many outer influences projecting upon your inner state. And a fantastic place to do this is out in the wild, out in the woods. Find a place that's secluded, where few or hopefully no uh, other humans go. And then just release, release into the wild, into the all, into all the life around you and realize, experience, engage the effect that that will have upon you. And keep doing this, keep engaging with this and, and it's eventually, hopefully, in time, you dissolve time, you begin to admit, you begin to flip the script and realize that all of life, all of the living world, it has a need for you, for your awareness, for your love. It's hungry for it. And when you engage it, the living book of life, whenever you engage, in the love of vibrations, for lack of better terminologies, you tap into a tapestry and a web that is so vast. And it's, it's hard to wrap your mind around it, your thoughts around the mind that is this web. But the more and more you engage it, the more you will experience the return from it. And essentially, this is a dissolving of what we have been taught to believe in as separation between what we are and between what that is. It's intimately connected. So the more and more you take time to engage that, to be in the stillness, be in the living essence, the living gnosis, the quicker, the easier it will become to flow with this as within so without, dissolving the separations, dissolving the illusions. So for me, the quickening really means and especially because of what I'm experiencing more and more is a quickening of knowledge, of gnosis, of experience, of tapping into, you could call it maybe an Akashic record, tapping into the knowledge of our ancestors, you could say. And this is, you know, Everyone's going to have their own conceptualizations of our ancestors, especially if they're still caught in the construct of believing the script that we have been told about what, who our ancestors were. If you are caught up still with that bullshit, then 
you're, you, you're not going to get very far into tapping into your ancestors because your ancestors are what you have been told are your ancestors. And that's not the case. As many of us are realizing more and more about what we have been told is completely fucking garbage with everything. And one thing that you may experience whenever you start to uh, talk to different people about this is, well, why? why? Why would they do this? Why would they lie? And for us, it's obvious, you know, it's about control. It's about dumbing people down, numbing people up, and, and controlling people by by having them believe that they are limited, believing in a lie. So yeah, the quickening for me is a quickening of experience, and not just for me, from, from what I experience, for what I experience in my internal state and for what I experience within uh, a multitude of other people. But even though I experience this with other people, I experience the opposite polarity uh, even more so, which is a quickening of corruption, degradation, of especially with some of the people I've been engaged with where I kind of start to crack the layers of their garbage to have them start to realize that they are the ones responsible for their repeated patterns and habitual cycles of what they experience. And then they make the choice to push certain things out of their lives that are trying to help them and then they go full full on with the ignorance and the corruption and the bullshit and the projection of that so I would say I experience that more than I experience people waking up but that's just in a uh, quantity aspect but in, in the quality aspect because the people that I really engage with are the, are the people that are starting to wake up and not even starting but continuing to wake up and a lot of times that takes the form of waking up going into to certain experiences falling back asleep getting caught up in the fucking bullshit and the lies remembering the inner work and what they've engaged with and starting to engage it again. So a lot, a lot of times it's reminding people to continue on the path of engaging that within themselves, reminding them that their true work is going to be clearing out the junk and the garbage and the bullshit within themselves. And then, once they really start to engage that, then we can start to get into some deeper concepts, some deeper aspects of engagements, of cleaning and clearing out the body. Okay, so yeah, that was a tad bit longer than what I expected. So let's see what we have here real quick. Doesn't take your temperature because we know certainly are you hot or you cold or you <laughs> are you stagnant <laughs> you're not it, you know it's spit it out if it ain't right you, you better be hot or you better be cold pick one but pick a direction walk up the ladder walk 
uh, or fall off the ladder. I don't know. Choose the ladders. Choose. Choice. Get out of your stagnation and make a choice. Even if the choice is stagnation, then you made that choice. And that's that's different from uh, ignorant stagnation. It's, it's, very, it's very much different. Choosing to be in a quote-unquote stagnant or still place. Uh, stag stagnation is something that's not quite completely understood by quite a few people as well. Because we can make the choice... Of choosing to be still, the choosing to go within, and that from the outside looking in can be seen as stagnation. But from the inside out, that that's absolutely not the case. So clarity is always the main thing here, because you are going to know for sure. If you are engaging with bullshit, with with things that you don't want to engage with, really. If you're caught up in old patterns and systems. Even if, and this is going to be the case uh, time and time again. You're going to be drawn in to old patterns and ways and habits of being. With the guise of something bringing you there. Say a new influence a new excitement a new person a new interest maybe even a new love interest but deep down you are always going to know and have that inst in instinctual feeling that okay i'm going back down this route again The choice is yours. The, the question is, are you going to realize it? Or are you going to go about the excitement and the glam, the, the glitter and the, the pretty lights and an ignorance of what you're doing to yourself? And thus, if you're doing it to yourself, you're doing it to all of us. Because you contribute to the collective experience. And so I will go ahead and kind of say real quick. Without going into too much depth. Because it's just too too much. Too convoluted. Too, too ridiculous. That with my past several relationships and I would say even potentially all of my relationships that I've had um love interests you could say those types of relationships I've gone into them with clarity with knowing what I'm getting myself into with weighing the options why am I doing this Am I doing this solely for me, solely for uh, pleasure seeking, or am I doing this potentially for the benefit of the other party, for the benefit of the other party potentially learning of their own habits, of their repeated cycles, and breaking free from that? Have I succeeded, even though I've had the awareness when I've went into these things um, that is debatable <laughs> uh, yes I, w I would say for the most part yes because I've had those relationships and those people come back years later or however long later and tell me you know that yes I I have <clears throat> helped them with clarity and so it's 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 hard to to really know whenever you're caught up and engage in the moment and you're in the cycle the relationship uh, realm if you're really having a beneficial influence or not or or if you are just entertaining people or aspects
So yeah, clarity is king. Clarity is key. Be clear within. And don't be afraid to express that without. Don't be afraid of the repercussions. And obviously you need to be aware of the situation that you are in. If you are in a situation where you have a uh, a mass of energy that's going to uh, come down upon you instantaneously because of your clarity, then you may want to be more uh, subtle with it, more nuanced. You may want to engage with a little bit more finesse in how you navigate with your clarity. Go down a slide and go, Woohoo! Or, or walk up the ladder. Well, y'all do it. I've been up and down ladders. I've been... Yeah, speaking of the shoots and ladders, it's not only just an up and down game, people. You can get off the ladder. You can go sideways on the ladder. You can climb up. You can get off the main part of the ladder and climb up the, the side of the ladder. You can you can turn the ladder horizontal and just spin it around and take people's heads off. You can use the ladder as a tool. You can dispose of the ladder. You can dissolve the ladder. You can transform the ladder into the heart of the matter. Which is within all of us. Slides. I, I've actually walked. Do you remember when you were a kid and you were, you were really super hyper intelligent? You could walk up a slide. Wah, 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 wah. Is that the wrong way? But if you like, <laughs> you'd, you'd start in the direction. So I wonder how people perceive the world <laughs> as if they don't know that language, hmm. the articulation, which is an, uh, articulation is, is how you angle things. It's an articulate. I'm an articulate. And this is why we are... Uh not only reinventing our language, but also re-engaging with the essential language, with the essence of the original languages and the angles, the, the reverberations of <laughs> what these vibrations really bring about within and without. You should be an articulate. As you as you amass a center of gravity, and gravity is, is just it's, it, that's a bad word for it. A center yeah. of a self. You'll find a way to construct references to what the center spoke is. Spoke <coughs> gives you wheels, and if you have all of the spokes, usually you need. Spoke, spoken folk, which is 12 of them. Spoken folk. You can do that by yourself. You can do that with, you know, 11 friends. You can do it with 12 friends. Uh, really, that was amazing. beautiful. So you find the things. You find the ideas. It doesn't have to be a thing. It doesn't have to be outside of you. It's always inside of you. Oh, yes. And all of your organs and all of your mind and be mind. How does that feel? Yes. Have you noticed the sound? Not me. Have you noticed the vibration that precedes the sound? See. Thank you, Zen. Well, first and foremost for everything, but for that little... Thank all you guys. I thank all you guys for... for Yeah, I don't want to go off the deep end.
but basically for uh, keeping me with enough hope that enough of us will step up and come out of this so that some of us don't need to reset the cycle once again because uh, quite a few of us came here knowing that <laughs> we're gonna reset the fucking shit because this is a shit show so we've been waiting for that time time to admit but more and more of us who have uh, have these feelings are realizing that this time this cycle is much different than any other previous time and cycle and one by one we are engaging and experiencing and redirecting these this crazy potentiality within redirecting it towards a bridge that will carry humanity across this span of time that we are fast approaching. We are the ropes. We are the beams. We are the power structures that hold these bridges. Remember this. Remember why you are here. I feel what you feel. Just know that you're not alone. That a lot of us feel this deeply. And a lot of times we just, we don't know what to do with it. And a lot of times it's, it's too much. And <laughs> we, we're done. We're done dealing with this fucking shit. But for those of us who haven't peaced out yet, who are still here, who are still staying the course, I hope to remind you just how important you are, just how essential you are. Of course, all of us are essential. We're all part of this. But certain individuals, like obviously if you look around you, obviously certain people feel more deeply than other people. Certain people have more depth and awareness and beingness than others. Some people feel timeless so yeah uh, to end this I'm going to say he was talking about spokes uh, which was really cool the speaking and you know, the spoken word and spokes of the wheel and that reminds me of the story of uh the people that once, once, currently once, but also uh, the situation that we find ourselves in is because of the people that wanted to uh, have communion with God or what you may liken to God or divine intellect or whatever terminology 
you got to use conceptualize a feeling that's deep inside this one's within us all of a creator of an origin so I'm not going to be able to repeat this story verbatim but essentially this story is <clears throat> so yeah God is everything God is the speed you could say God is the vibration that has uh, allowed this creation to be to be able to for us to experience it to engage with it so for people wanting to see God to commune with God in a way that is on their level that's going to slow God down that's going to slow the spokes down that's going to slow the wheel so far down that it's almost going to come to a complete stop and what happens when a, whenever a bicycle comes to a stop it's going to fall over So is that really what you want? Is for all of creation to fall over so that you can experience God? Or do you want to speed up? Do you want to catch up? Do you want to feel what it means to exist on that level? And you don't even need to experience that on that level. You just... It's a remembrance. It's, it's just a feeling and a knowingness, it's a gnosis through consistent engagement with the book of life, with the living nature, the living matrix. Consistently keep engaging with this. Grow your own plants, plant your own seeds within and without, not just actual seeds, but seeds within the mind. Still your mind. Engage with the stillness. Engage with the darkness. And maybe, potentially, you will experience the light within the darkness. The spark that is within all of us. And maybe, eventually, within the essence of this, we will come to know your creator and if you don't like that terminology consider whatever you need to conceptualize however you came about don't slow down creation so that you can experience one aspect of it or even the origin point Dive deep within, do the inner work so that you can become a likeness, become likened to that. And then you will truly come to know it for what it is, come to feel it. So to me, this is what the quickening is. It's a quickening of engagement, a quickening of feelings of engagements and so a, a, a whole vast amount of knowledge is quickly being assimilated right now with so many of us because of the inner work that we are doing we are stopping the fucking monkey mind squirrel fucking hamster in our minds running around the wheel we are stopping the wheel, becoming the center point of that wheel, becoming the monad, engaging the stillness, feeling the isness that you are, that we all are. <clears throat> so, within these upcoming times of turmoil and chaotic craziness, that's going to be, you know, proliferated from with the media and with the the bullshit fucking conscripts and uh, belief structures. 
go within, go within the stillness and feel the real that's going on. And that will carry you through, that will carry all of us through this. That's how you become the bridge for all of us. One love, indeed. Peace.